Hello everyone! Welcome to a detailed Blue Hive guide on Bee Swarm Simulator. This video will have many sections, each time stamped so you can easily skip to or find what you're looking for. My name is Xnose and I've been playing Bee Swarm Simulator since 2018. And here's what I have learned while streaming it and taking notes from the community. Before getting into the video, please check me out over on twitch.tv slash Xnose. I'd love to see you there. I have fun all the time with my viewers and I hope you can join me too. The bees you see right now on screen are the bees you should have one of gifted in your hive. These bees on the other hand are variable and depend solely on how many you want in your hive. Unlike the two groups of bees you had seen prior, this group of bees is fully optional depending on what you want as a gifted hive bonus in your hive as well as what your star amulet and star passives are. When a bubble is popped, they collect 3 red, 5 white, and 10 blue pollen from 29 surrounding flowers. However, you can raise that amount by 10% for a gifted unique blue bee type in your hive. Balloons spawn for 20 seconds with a capacity that scales with your backpack capacity and the bee's level. Standing near a balloon gives you increased pollen and honey from token. And if you empty that balloon out of your hive, it gives you a capacity buff and a honey at hive buff. When your pop star activates, it gives you a buff of 10% instant blue conversion and blue pollen. Every time you pop a bubble with pop star active, you can build bubble blow, which gives you a blue field capacity buff as well as a hive convert rate buff. When your diamond drain activates, it summons a giant diamond that instantly converts 5 million pollen plus the total conversion amount of all the player's bees combined. The conversion amount increases by 10% for every blue bee the player has and increases by 50% for every gifted blue bee type. Star Shower permanently grants 1.25 times capacity. When activated, 10 shooting stars will fall onto the field, which collect and instantly convert 30 pollen plus 50% per gifted bee type from 5 flowers. Catching a shooting star grants a stack of Inspire and instantly converts 1 million pollen plus 200% of the player's total hive conversion. Gummy Star grants 1.25 times white field capacity. When activated, it summons a Gummy Star, which grants 10% instant white and goo conversion for 45 seconds. Collecting goo during this time will make the star grow, granting bonus white pollen and goo conversion up to two times. After the gummy star pops, it'll scatter honey tokens all over the field that can be increased by 1.5 times per gifted colorless B type you have. The only difference between all star amulet passives is that gummy star requires vector. After that, the amount of tadpoles and buoyant bees is completely up to you, but my recommendation is having minimum 8 of either one. Buoyant bees and tadpole bees should be making a majority of your hive, as those two bees will be the bees that will be making you the most honey. Contrary to what you think, you actually make the most honey converting at your hive at the end instead of at the field. Weird, right? Well, most of your honey is going into the balloon, so it kind of makes sense if you think about it. When collecting nectar, the minimum requirement for blue is motivating. Motivating nectar gives 1.5 times blue pollen, 1.5 times convert rate, and 5% bee ability rate, which out of all the nectar types is the best. For boosting, you'll want motivating nectar, comforting nectar, refreshing nectar, and satisfying nectar. Invigorating can be gotten, but it's honestly useless. I want to say a quick thank you to everyone who helped me make this guide as well as everyone who watches my streams every time I go live. You can catch one of my streams over at twitch.tv slash xnos. I'd love to see you there. If this video helped you out a lot, please consider subscribing, as I intend to make more Bee Swarm Simulator videos in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll smell you later. <laughs>